Okay, uh, today we put on the uh, Muzz exhaust on 660 Rhino. I didn't do an install video, kind of learning on some things that might be best and just faster to show you after the fact. Uh, by the way, don't sit on uh, hot mufflers uh, right after you get through running it. Okay, um, give you some times just to give you an idea. Um, our zero to 40 in bone stock Rhino was 595 and after our carb kit, and the muffler, it dropped it down to, to 510, 0 to 40. That's a pretty significant change. Before, we couldn't even do 0 to 60 times because it wouldn't do it. And now with the pipe and carb kit, uh, we can do 60. And our 0 to 60 times are 15 seconds, 15.15 15 seconds, with our top speed now 63. Scott had our machine sheave on here, and he said he would be able to run 57 uh, before, and now he can run... 63 so six mile an hour uh, gain on top end um, now also on horsepower we started off with 24 25 as our base uh, and it that's yeah, at our peak horsepower at 50 miles an hour uh, we had 12.09 horsepower of course you can see the graph you don't have to remember all these numbers um, with the pipe we went from 24 25 to 28 98 and from 12.09 to 18.70. So at peak, we had a gain of about four, almost four and three quarter, uh, four and three quarter horsepower. And at 50 miles an hour, in my opinion, is a great gain. 12.09 to 18.70, which is uh, dang near seven horsepower. So about six and three quarter horsepower. Uh, the carb kit alone added one and a half peak horse, and at times it in the curves it give as much as two horsepower by itself so as you can see it's uh, you know pretty good improvement here uh, I mean if you can get a 10 percent improvement out of a carb kit that's pretty dang good it don't sound like a lot to the horsepower but you didn't have a 24 to start with so uh, it's pretty good so let me show you how we put this on I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold this with my hand and run through it the first thing you want to do is what you call you got your spigot to go right up in the head and your flanges that thing's still hot flanges and you go ahead and you put your two springs on each flange and they go in the lower section do them finger tight and that's the first thing you do on each side then you put your head pipes together now I can't tell you which one goes where because I just had to had to figure it out yourself but here's your good shot of the two pipes and they're gonna go around the drive shaft. Now this view it looks like it's real close to the drive shaft but there's no place it's closer than two inches. But now what we did is went ahead and put our two head pipes together with the springs down at the bottom and put in one at a time. I think we put the driver's side on first and then the other. And of course you're just setting it in there okay and you're leaving everything loose. Don't tighten up anything but then go ahead at that point and put your springs on the head pipes going into the head and that way our head pipes can just stay loose okay now the next thing we did is we went ahead and mounted our brackets to the rear bracket here let's get a little view up top to this side the top half and I set this one on with this u-shaped clamp and I left it real loose okay because I didn't know where uh, it was gonna fall in here so I left this loose tighten this one and then, if you can see here, this clamp is tight, getting in there to, gosh, it's that's hot. Keep touching it. Uh, got two screws goes in from the bottom. They're real hard to get to, so before we ever put the mufflers in, we went ahead and put the two screws in, just two or three threads in at the rear, and I call it the rear, but actually the front, and at the rear, and then we slid our mufflers in and placed them in there where we wanted them okay and then I slowly started tightening up one screw now the instructions say to put have you a seven eighths of an inch difference from this little joint to right here on this muffler okay so that's what you'll end up with so we tightened up our front one first and then we come to our rear and got it pushed over tightened this up and then our last two screws and then the last thing we had to do is tighten up our clamps on our head pipes. Now you want to put slide your head pipes in. As you can see, there there's a little bent section there, and we're right up close to it. And that's the point you want to tighten them up. Once that's done, then go to your head and tighten up your full bolts there, 
and then there's one part we didn't put on because Scott don't have the vent deal from the fan on side the motor anymore there's a little heat shield that goes right here and all you simply do is the heat shield it's just got a little clamp and it goes around the muffler right here and it protects that plastic blower piece from getting melted